भगवते राघव राजा राम पतित पावन सीता प्यारे सीता राम सीता राम भज सीता राम भज मन प्यारे सीता राम ओ सीता राम जय सीता राम भज मन प्यारे भजु 
सुमन प्यारे सीतारा चंद भगवान की प्रिय भक्त जन विप्र मंडली महानुभाव द डिवाइन सोल्स फर्स्ट लेट मी से राधे राधे एंड सीता राम टू एवरी वन and my pranam my humble prostrations to each and every one of you here this evening we continue with ram katha bhagwan shri ram the supreme lord during his 11000 years in this world in the age of treta yug once only once called everyone in ayodhya and he gave a lecture this is an uttarakhand of ramayan and it is known as ram geeta because bhagwan shri ram himself is given the discourse just as bhagwan krishna is given this cause to arjun in bhagavat gita and also in bhagavat mahapuran to udhav in 11 kanto we have been listening to this ram katha today we continue by bhagwan shri ram in the doha he says to residents of ayodhya सोपर 
परत्र दुख पावि सिर धुनी धुनी पचिताय हो रामा सिर धुनी धुनी पचिताय काल ही कर्म ही ईश्वर ही मिथ्या दुष्लगाय हो रामा मिथ्या दुष्लगाय सियाबर राम चंद्र कर जय शरण शंकर हरियो चंद भगवान की सो परत दुख पाव ही सिर धुनी धुनी पछिताय काल ही कर्म ही ईश्वर ही मिथ्या दोष लगाए आई हैव ब्रीफली मेंशन दिस टू यू इन द बिगिनिंग दैट दिस पर्सन सच अ पर्सन गेट्स नाइरा हैप्पीनेस इन द हियर यहां भी नहीं और वहां भी नहीं इन द हेयर एंड हेयर आफ्टर ऑल्सो और सिर धुनी धुनी पछिताए दैट पर्सन आफ्टरवर्ड्स हैव एन लॉस्ट दैट गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी इज गोइंग टू बीट द हेड एंड रिपेंट टू लेट व्हाई बिकॉज ही इज गिवन फॉल्स ब्लेम मिथ्या दोष लगाए ही इज गिवन फॉल्स ब्लेम to three things whenever we do something wrong in the world we make a mistake we fail we don't take the blame on ourselves we have to find something and someone to blame and there are three things we blame here bhagwan shri ram is saying to the residents of ayodhya three things we blame kal hi time we blame time karm कर्म ही वी ब्लेम डेस्टिनी भाग्य एंड ईश्वर ही वी ब्लेम इवन भगवान गॉड वन एफ वी मेक अ मिस्टेक वी डोंट वी डू समथिंग रॉन्ग पीपल हैव अ वे ऑफ सेन एवरीथिंग हैपन्स अ कार्डन टू द विल ऑफ भगवान गॉड जय राम श्री राम जय राम श्री राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय चावत राम गुसाई जय राम श्री राम जय एवरीवन की नाही सब ही नचावत राम गुसाई वी कोट रामायण एवरीथिंग हैपन्स अकॉर्डिंग टू गॉड्स विल वट एवर गॉड वंस वही होता है जो मंजूरे खुदा होता है ज्ञानी मूढ़ न कोई विषय लुक नॉट एज एनी वन फूलिश nor is anyone wise if someone has knowledge he is knowledgeable god gave him knowledge he didn't give me so i don't know 
<laughs> we say that God can turn anyone into anything he wants, even in a moment. Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Whatever God wants, He can turn somebody <laughs> into anything He wants in a moment. Oh, people go to the extent of quoting Ved Mantra. Tameva bhata manubhati sarvam tasya bhasa sarvam vibhati. In other words, even a blade of grass cannot shake without God's will. Furthermore, Asambhavam he mamigasya janma tatha piramo lulubhe mrigaya praya samapanna vipatti kale dhiyo pipun samalina bhavanti nabhuta purvam nakada pivarta hem nah kurango nakada pidrishta tatha pitrishna Raghunandanasya Baliyasi Kevalamishwari Chha <laughs> Sukti Has anyone ever seen a golden deer? Asambhavam He Mumrig <laughs> No, it's impossible And the one who's seen He's so qualified That even from before he's saying Lachman Hey Lakshman, be aware there are terrible rakshas, demons roaming about here with great magic powers. So be on the alert and protect Sita. But the same Ram could not know that a golden deer was illusionary. And besides, he could have shot an arrow from right there and finish the story? Huh? When Jayant, Jayant, the son of Indra, he pecked the feet of Sita, once in Chitrakut, Bhagwan Sri Ram was lying on the lap of Mother Sita. And the son of Indra, Jayant, took the form of a crow and came and pecked the feet, wanting to take revenge. Packed the feet of Sita, Mother Sita, and blood started running. And the Lord woke up and he realized what had happened. Sita didn't say anything. Mother Sita, she's so kind, so soft. She didn't say anything. 
And the Ram, oh, he saw this giant had done that. He took a grass. With a mantra, he made it into an arrow of fire. Agniban, and sent it after Jayant. Jayant flew all the three worlds everywhere. And that arrow of fire kept going after him. Finally, Naraji told him, go and surrender to Ram. So Ram didn't have to run after that there. He could have shot an arrow from there and finished the whole story. He had born out. This was a grass. He sent after <laughs> Jayant. No, but he couldn't know. Tathapi Trishna Raghunandanasya Baliyasi Kevalami Ishwari Chha There are many, many philosophies. Siddhant philosophies in the world. But the most dangerous we, have, we people have made our own is that everything happens according to God's will. So, is God the controller, the performer of all our actions? Yes. Duryodhan said this to Bhagwan Krishna. Janami dharmam nachame prabhittir Janam ya dharmam nachame nibritti Kena pidevena hridistitena yathani yuktos mitatha karomi. Duryodhan, a very wicked fellow, the head of the Kauravas, he says, Look, I know what is right and I also know what is wrong. But I do not know what to say. Somebody is causing me to do all the wrong things I am doing. <laughs> In other words, Bhagawan. What can I do? So, is God the performer, the controller of everything we do? Let's look at this briefly and see if we can remove all the confusion once and for all, logically. If God is the performer of our actions, He is the one who is performing the action, then we will never do anything wrong. Since God is the director, the controller, how can everything, anything go wrong? Huh? If a person is a very good driver, he has his senses and mind under control, the car runs very smoothly. But should that same person become drunk, intoxicated from alcohol, there is every possibility of an accident. So in the same way, if Bhagawan, God is the director, the driver, the controller of every action we perform, how come every action we perform is in ignorance? First point. Second point. If God is the performer of our actions, then he should have all of us doing the same thing. Either we should all be doing good actions, Acha karm, or we should be doing bad actions, bura karm. Bhagwan himself says in Gita, Samoham sarva bhuteshu, name dveshu sti napriya. Chapter 9, verse 29, Gita, Bhagwan Krishna says to Arjun, Neither is anyone dear to me, nor is anyone hateful. I look at everyone equally, samadarshi. And yet the actions of some people, Tulsidas, Surdas, Mira, Tukaram, have taken them beyond Maya. While we people, every moment we are doing wrong actions. How did this partiality come into a God who is supposed to be impartial, Samadarshi? Hmm? If he is Samadarshi, then we should all be doing the same things. Either we all be doing right action or wrong action. So how did this partiality come in a God who is supposed to be impartial? Samadarshi. If Bhagawan is like that, I don't want such a Bhagawan as my Ishtadev, my chosen deity, for all you know he may be a Rakshas, 
a demon but certainly not bhagwan third point if bhagwan if god is the performer of our action then he should be the one who enjoying the fruit or he should forgive himself if on the order of a country the army attacks another country and destroys the army the other country then the major general lieutenant etc in the army they are rewarded by the government they are given reward puraskar did not put sentence to hang or given punishment in the same way if god is the performer of our action then he should enjoy the fruit why does i have to enjoy the fruit huh ramesh has eaten and ganesh is vomiting this is not fair the fourth point if god is the performer of our action then why did he write vidhi nished in the vedas vidhi means actions we should do permitted actions nished means prohibited actions that which you should not do hey do like this vidhi don't do like that nished this is right and that is wrong if you do wrong actions you will never know god you will go to hell why make all these charges if god is the performer of our actions he should not have written vidhi nished in the vedas instead he should have said hey mankind there was no need for you to do anything i will do everything for you and the fifth point if god is the performer of our actions why did he create heaven hell and earth why did he give to some the body of a cat some the body of a dog some the body of a grass some the body of a tree some the body of a bird some the body of an animal some the body of a human being some the body of a devta celestial god just as the government of every country makes arrangement for punishing criminals wrong to us in the same way bhagwan makes elaborate arrangements so many types of hell for punishing sinners why make all these arrangements if he is a performer of our actions the fact is listen the fact is god is not he is not the performer of our actions bhagwan makes it very clear in gita he says listen bhaiya na datte kasa chit papam na chaiva sukitam vibhu chapter 5 verse 15 i am not i am not responsible for the virtuous or evil actions of the individual soul i just sit in their heart and i take note and i reward or punish them accordingly so let us forgive bhagwan bechara bach gaya poor fellow he has been saved now we, we people should not listen think or say that everything happens according to god's will we should take the fault as our own but this is this is a very difficult thing to do no one likes to accept responsibility for one's faults and wrongs doings we will hide our mistake even if it means committing a hundred new ones to do so to admit one's own faults is very difficult so we accept that bhagwan god is innocent but we cannot accept the blame as our own so we find somewhere else to put the blame so ishwara hi okay he save now we blame karma hi bhagya fate luck destiny this is another big big disease we have we say look okay i accept god he is innocent but i don't know what to say 
My daily life is bounded by faith, by destiny. Whatever has to be, has to be. Hari Napi, Hare Napi, Brahma Napi, Surai Rapi, Lalatha Likitare Ka Parimarshtum Na Shakyate. Brahma, Vishnu, Shankar, no one can get away from destiny. Doha. हिमवंत सुनो जो विधि लिखा लीला हो रामा जो विधि लिखा लीला देवदनुज नरनाग मुनि को न comes to make an excuse as to why we should not blame ourselves, oh, we become so knowledgeable. People say, look, it's written in Ramayan. Naraji is saying to Himalay, Kaha muni sahimavant sunu jo vidhi likha lilar deva danuj nag muni Whatever Brahma has written in the destiny of an individual, no Devata, no celestial being, no Rakshas, no man, no Rishi, no Muni, no one can change. Avashameva bhoktavyam kritam karma shubha shubham mahabharat. You will have to bear the fruits of your good actions as well as bad action. Look at Abhimanyu. Abhimanyu was the nephew of Sri Krishna, the son of his sister, Subhadra. His father was Arjun, Noah of Gita, and his marriage was performed by the dissension of Bhagwan, Avesha Avatar, Vedavyas. Bhagwan Krishna, the Supreme Lord, Arjun, topmost among saints, Beda Vyas, dissension of the Lord, Avesha Avatar, all three present, and no one could prevent Abhimanyu from dying. In the prime of his youth, leaving behind his 16 year old wife, Uttara, who was pregnant. The whole world came together and laughed. <laughs> this Arjun, he's a Mahapurush. <laughs> jai ho, jai ho, jai ho. This, Bhag this Krishna is a Bhagawan. <laughs> and they couldn't save Abhimanyu. We curse, criticize and abuse them. And when they left the world, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. This has been our nature from beginningless time. Listen to another humorous example. Very humorous. Swayam Mahesha Swasuro Nagesha Sakha Dhanesha Stanayoganesha Shankar Bhagawan Shivji One of the three governors of the universe. His father-in-law Swasur is Nagesh, Himalay, on which there is the Sumeru Parvat, mountain of gold. Such a rich father-in-law. His friend is Kubey, the god of wealth. And his son. His son is Ganesh, 
उस पूजा इज दान फर्स जय सुमिरत सिद्धि हो गणनायक करीवर बदना जय सुमिरत सिद्धि हो गणनायक करीवर जही सुमिरत सिद्धि हो गणनायक परिवार वजन अन्यत तथापि भिक्षा तनमेव शंभोर बलि यसी केवल मीश्वरे छा सुक्ति पौषिव जी he has to beg bhiksha he has to beg for his food avashya bhav avashyam bhavino bhava bhavanti mahatam api naganatvam nilakanthasya mahahishayanam hare pashiv ji his destiny is so bad he can't get a piece of proper piece of cloth to wear he has to go naked digambar Poor fellow. Another poor fellow, the Supreme Lord Mahavishnu, he can't get a proper bed to sleep on. He sleeps on a bed of snake. Do you know how difficult it is to sleep on a bed of snake? <laughs> oh, we have such wonderful mattress. <laughs> All kind of examples. Doha. भरत भावी प्रबल बिलखी कहु मुनिनाथ हो राम बिलखी कहु मुनिनाथ लाभ भरत भावी प्रबल बिलखी कहु मुनिनाथ हो राम बिलखी कहु मुनिनाथ हानि लाभ जीवन मरण जश अप जश विधिहात हो राम जश अप जश विधिहात राम चंद्र कर जय शरण शंकर हरिओ जय जय सिया राम जय जय सिया राम जय जय सिया राम सो पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू मेक एक्सक्यूज दिस यू वॉन्ट टू हियर मॉ ये टैलस ओ When Bharat returned to Ayodhya and found out that his father had died, and his brother Ram, whom he loved more than his life, was banished to the forest for fourteen years, Bharat became inconsolable. And then the Guru Vasishth Ji said to Bharat, "Bharat, destiny is very powerful, beta." gain loss death life fame dishonor are all in the hands of destiny for the more paulasta katamanya dara harane dosho na vigyatvan akshay chap yudhish niranamata gyato na dosho nukim rame na pivane nahi maharinas sya sambhavo lakshita praya pat सुक्ति रावण वी हेब रावण 
in the Ramayana, very bad fellow, Rakshas. Ravan was so learned, he wrote commentary on all the four Vedas, as well as other scriptures. But all his learning proved to be in vain, as he was destined to kidnap Sita, and so paved the way for his death at the hands of Sri Ram Bhagavan. The five Pandavas, Yudhishthir, Bhimsen, Arjun, Nakul and Sahadev, they were all Mahapurush, God-realized souls. Their wife Draupadi was also a Mahapurush. All six Mahapurush. But the destiny of the Pandavas was such that not only did they lose everything they had, but also their wife Draupadi in a game of dice with their cousins, the Kauravas. There are many, many such examples quoted by those who consider themselves to be bounded by fate, by destiny. I call these examples humorous. <laughs> Haspad, <laughs> humorous. Because the actions of divine souls are the actions of Bhagawan himself. Jo kare, so hari kare. Therefore, there cannot be anything like destiny or anything else in control in the actions of divine souls. So while these fatalists are willing to accept that God is innocent, blameless, they cannot accept the fault as their own, and so they put the blame on fate, on destiny instead. What is this thing which is called bhagya, destiny? Purva janma kitam karma tad daiva miti kathyate hitopadish. I told you one day before that God has given us free will. Karmanyevadhikaraste ma phale shukadachana ma karma phala hetur bhur ma te sangustva karmani. Chapter 2, verse 47, Gita. Bhagwan says, I give you the right to action. In other words, God gives us free will. So the scriptures are saying the actions we perform out of our own free will in our past life, that becomes our bhagya destiny in this lifetime. You know, many other religions cannot or do not want to accept there is something called reincarnation. Then the question comes, if God is such a merciful and such a just God, we all say God is, a, every religion, a loving and just and merciful God. Then how come some people are so poor and some so rich? Some countries, nothing, suffering. So many sicknesses, illnesses, disease in one home. Scientists say, okay, people are born healthy, etc. because of the genes. Okay, Mr. Scientist. You know, there was a guy called Hitler. He wanted to, to clone people. He got all the best, the most intelligent. And with the idea that if he cloned them, he will get a super race. Or he would have gotten super donkeys. <laughs> In one home, the same genes of the same parent, one child is a genius. And one child can't learn anything. Nothing can go in. One is very healthy and one is very sick in the same home. So many discrepancies. Scientists explain. Those who claim there is no reincarnation, no past life, explain. If God is so just, so merciful and so loving, and you believe in God, in a God, then why does he create so much discrepancies? So much sickness and illnesses and diseases. 
Huh? You don't believe in, in past life. No one can explain. God is merciful. He is just. He is most loving, most kind. These are the outcome of our own actions. The actions I perform in my past life, God gives us free will. Out of my own free will, that is what becomes my destiny, my bhagya. It, the name changes. In this life, it is called purusharth. The actions I perform out of my own free will in this lifetime, it is called purusharth. In the next lifetime, the name changes to bhagya. That's all. But still the fatalist goes on to insist. Ayuhu karma cha vittam cha vidya nidhana meva cha panchaitani siddhyante garbhasthasya eva dehina hitopadish. Ayu, duration of life, how long we live for? Karma, what kind of interest we'll have? Vit, how much wealth will come to us easily? Vidya, how much knowledge will come easily? Nidhana mevacha, the moment we'll die and how we'll die is determined. The moment is the child is conceived in the womb of the mother and no one can change that. Yadhatra nijabhala patta likhitam stokam marvadhanam tat prapnuti marusthale pinitaram merautato nadhikam tat dhiro bhavavitta batsu kripanam vrittim kritham akritaha Kupi Pashopani Dhavapi Ghato Grinati Tulyam Jalam Bharti Hari Bharti Hari The amount of wealth we are supposed to acquire in this lifetime whether we give dan charity in our past life or not the amount of wealth we are supposed to get will come to us easily without any effort even if you were sitting in the middle of a desert and you will not be able to get more than you are supposed to even if you were sitting on a mountain of gold Sumeru Parvat and the example given just when you take a bucket and dip it into a pond bring it up it can only hold the amount of water it can hold and no more in the same way we are all bounded by fate by destiny okay I am not going to argue with this. There's a lot of truth in this philosophy. But I want to ask one question. If we are bounded by fate, by destiny in our present life, it means we have been bounded by fate, destiny in our past life, and have been so bounded since beginningless, beginningless time. It means we have never performed actions out of our free will. And if we have never performed actions out of our free will, where did Bhagya destiny come from? Did it fall from the sky? Because only when we perform actions out of our free will in one lifetime, it becomes Bhagya destiny in the next lifetime. On the other hand, if we say, I had freedom to perform action in my past life, then we have that freedom today also to resign to fate is to pervert the mind the dependence on fate will make us perverted make us worse than animals udyoginam purusha singham upaiti lakshmi Daive na deya mitika purusha badanti. Daivam nihatya kurupa rushama te shaktya. Yatne kriti yadina siddhati kota dosha. Bhagavat Mahapuran. So please, let us stop, stop putting the blame on everything that goes wrong on fate, on destiny. Because, as Tulsidasi Maharaj says in the Ramayana, Ram, Sia Ram, Sia Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Bhul Ram, Sia Ram, Sia Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Bhul Ram, Sia Ram, Sia Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Bhul Ram, Sia Ram, Sia Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Bhul Ram, Sia Ram, Sia Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Bhul Ram, Sia Ram, Sia Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Bhul Ram, Sia Ram, Sia Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Bhul
धारा दैव दैव आलसी पुकार बोलो राम सिया राम सिया राम जय जय कादर मीन्स दरपोक कावर <laughs> कादर मन का एक आधारा दैव दैव मीन्स डेस्टिनी दैव दैव आलसी लेजी पुकारा ओनली द कावरली एंड द लेजी पुट्स द ब्लेम ऑन फेट ऑन डेस्टिनी and keep crying bhagya 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 oh my karma bad my karma bad everything happens look we have made the mistakes and we have to correct them ourselves we are not going to get anything by just crying out fate and destiny we have to correct them ourselves realize it is my fault i have done something wrong and i have to one bear the fruit and i can make the correction also but still people have a very very great interest to know what's written in their bhagya and their destiny people have great faith in astrologers psychics jyotish Oh a few years ago psychic the psychic hotline oh it was a big thing in america everybody calling psychic so many ended up in jail these psychics recently they're still putting them in jail there's a devotee i'm not going to call their name she told me that she used to call her psychic on the phone she lived very far away to completely different state and whenever she gets sick no doctor she'll call the psychic and the psychic will cure her <laughs> psychological <laughs> and of course i showed her the ways and the why as a you you are in such sang you have so much philosophy and you believe in such crap <laughs> oh then i showed her and she cried and cried i said no more psychic she cried and she said okay okay and one day she called me on the phone <laughs> bhaiya can i call a psychic one more time <laughs> of course she didn't need a psychic but we have so much this interest to know what's written in our destiny let's suppose and you go to the astrologer and he tells you that the day your child your son graduates from university and is celebrating with his friends and family suddenly he will have a heart attack and he will die now if this incident does take place it is 15 years in the future your child is only 5 years old at the time but already you start worrying in your mind Oh god. Oh god, my child is going to die in 15 years. Oh god, my child is going to die in 15 years. And if the child doesn't die, you certainly will. Why why worry so much about what's written in your fate and your destiny even if something is there, you can't do anything about it. Huh? when we have the power in our hands to make god our slave what can we not do bhagwan krishna says to udho in udho gita nirapeksham munim shantam niravairam samadarshanam anubrajami aham nityam puyatam ghire nubhi bhagavat mahapuran 11 kanto 14th chapter 16 verse Bhagwan Krishna says to Udhav 
Udho, I run after my devotees. My fully surrendered devotees. Like a slave. Udho says, my Lord, why? To protect them? No, 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 Udho. I do that already sitting in their heart. Then why do you run after them? So that the dust of their feet will come on me. And I'll become purified. In other words, he becomes a slave to his devotees. Gulam banjate. That amount of power we have in our hand. Thus we are the maker of our destiny. You make destiny. It's not written in the stars. It's not written in any book. We make destiny. And as I said, if something is even there, you can't do anything. The saint sees. Lalat likhitare kam. Bhal likhit. All these words you will find. Lalat, bhal, bhar. It means the forehead. And the only one can see is a saint. And he wouldn't tell you as I mentioned. Why? Because we are going to waste valuable time to change something we have no control over. Instead the saint says, Hey, kaal ka bhoro sa nahi hai. There is no guarantee we live to see tomorrow. So do what, do not procrastinate. Do what you're supposed to do right now. Don't keep putting off. This is what the saints tells us. Nobody knows when you can die. <laughs> oh, we say, okay, okay, okay. If my destiny, I'm not going to blame destiny and Bhagawan. If my destiny is bad, my luck is bad, it means I did wrong things. And I have to enjoy the fruits. Now I will, I will do good things. So my destiny will be good. But there's another big problem we have. What is that? Kaal. Kaal hi karma hi Ishwar hi. I told you three, right? So we talked about Ishwar. We blame God. Karma. Bhag. Destiny. We blame time. Purusha bali nahi hot hai. Samay hot balwan, bhillay luti gopika, soi arjun soi baan. In other words, this thing which is time is so powerful that it will come by itself and do everything. Pratar bhavami vasudha, dhipa chakra varti, soham brajami vipine, jatilas tapasvi. <laughs> we say, when the time comes, when the time comes, that morning itself, I'll become a king, Raja. Now I'll just roam about without any, like a lofa, without any care. <laughs> In other words, this time is such a thing that when the time comes, it will do everything automatically by itself. Hey, the time has come. The day has come. Do what you have to do right now. This time is another disease we have, just like destiny and blaming God. And anyone who blame all these three things, so parat dukha pavahi siddha dhuni dhuni pachitai, you're not going to get happiness in the here and in the hereafter. And afterwards, when we lose this golden opportunity, we're going to beat our heads. And repent. Jai Ram Shri Ram, Jai Ram Shri Ram, Jai Jai. Have 
वन श्रीराम जय Shiram again says to the residents of Ayodhya, Naratanupai Vishayamanadehi Vish Palati Sudha Te Shat Vishalehi. He says, Haven't acquired this wonderful human bath. If we were to give it only trying to satisfy the senses, sensual objects. It's like a person who has gotten nectar, ambrosia, life-given nectar, and he throws it away. That stupid, shut means stupid. That stupid person throws away that ambrosia and he drinks poison. <laughs> when we enjoy the desires, the senses of the mind, we are literally drinking poison. Indriyani manaprana atma dharmo dhitir mati hri shri stejas mitis satyam yasya nasyanti janmana Bhagavad Mahapuran 7 Kanto 10 chapter 8 verse Little Prahalad is saying to Nisim Bhagavan when he said I don't want give me the, the give then Bhagavan insisted Prahalad asked for a boon and Prahalad said my lord Give me the boon that I should never ask you for anything. And Bhagwan said, Prahlad, why? And Prahlad said, okay. Uh, you want to know this too? Okay, I'll tell you. The birth of a desire, one desire, causes harm to so many things. The senses, the mind, the life force, and the soul. These are the four main pillars. Other things get harmed too. Righteousness, patience, reasoning, modesty, self-esteem, and even knowledge of the scriptures. So much things get harmed just by one desire. And we are trying all the time to with these desires, fulfilling desires. This is why Bhagwan Sri Ram is saying, haven't gotten this wonderful human body, and instead of and trying to give it the divine Lord. We are giving it material sense, material pleasures. It's like a person is being given ambrosia. Life given ambrosia. He throws it away and he drinks poison. Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Mani Khoi Bolo Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Tahi kahu bhal kahai na koi Gunja Gahai parashamani khoi. One who haven't acquired this wonderful human body doesn't make the right use of it. The only use, the right use of this human body is to do bhakti, nothing else. One who doesn't do that, no, no one will have anything good to say about such a person. And what an example to uh, Bhagwan Sri Ram is given. He says, someone has been given a paris money. A paris money is a magical stone. If you have a paris money and you take, you take it and you touch it to iron, the iron will, will get converted into gold. So someone has been given a paris money and he throws it away 
and he gets some black beads, gunja, black beads, and he treasures it. <laughs> what a stupid person. This is what Bhagwan Sri Ram is saying. One who does not make the right use of this wonderful human body, he's actually literally throwing away a part. This is a part of money. This body, human body, is called a part of money. You're throwing that away and treasuring black beads. And finally, Ram, Siya Ram, Siya Ram, Jai Jai Ram. जाओ परलोक यहाँ सुख चाहो सुनी मामा बच्चन हृदय दिर्ह गाहो सो फर्स्ट ही सेज सो परत दुख पाव ही दैट यू विल नॉट फाइंड हैप्पीनेस इन द हियर एंड इवन इन द हियर आफ्टर इफ यू ब्लेम ऑल इस थिंग्स एंड यू डोंट रियलाइज द ब्लेम इज यार्स नाउ ही सेज इफ यू वांट टू फाइंड हैप्पीनेस इन द हियर एंड द जाओ परलोक यहा सुख जाओ परलोक यहा सुख इफ यू वॉन्ट फाइन हैप्पीनेस हियर एंड हियर आफ्टर ऑल्सो सुनी मामा बच्चन हृदय दृढ़ गहा हो देन लिसन वेरी केयरफुली डीपली टू माई वर्ड्स टू वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू फाइन दैट हैप्पीनेस हाउ यू हैव टू कम बैक बोले सियाव राम चंद भगवान की जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे